Today's second date is going to be a little different than any other second date we've ever done on this show before. Mm. Normally, the people we call have been out together on one, maybe two dates. Mm -hmm. But the couple we're speaking with today are already engaged. What? That doesn't work for this segment. Aren't they disqualified? Not sure why we need to intervene on this, but let's speak with the future groom, Matt. (laughs) Matt, Mazel Tov. (laughs) <laughs> Mazel tov. Good morning, guys. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah. What? Tell, tell us more about what's happening with this situation that you're in. <laughs> well, we were calling a girl named Leslie. Girl, Please, wait, hold on. Wife. Is it your fiancé, though, or are you seeing somebody else on the side? Oh, it's complicated. It's- oh, my God! Cheater! No. We cannot do this. I don't want to do this. No, so listen. She's a girl who I met on Tinder. What? Why Not are you on Tinder? You said you were getting married. Let's hear Matt out before you jump to conclusions Screw here. Matt. Hang up on Matt. I hate Matt. I'm with Brooke. Hold on, Matt. Let's let's hear your story. Please don't hate me. This is already going to be difficult. Do. <laughs> okay. So you just need a little bit of backstory. So mm-hmm. Tinder, when I first started it, it wasn't really working for me, like the first couple of months that I was signed up for the service. Mm. But then I was getting a few matches because I had changed my profile picture, and the pic that I donned... You're welcome. I sent you that picture of myself, and I know it got a lot of hits for you, so... <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. They were like, wow, you're way more handsome now. And yeah. I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> um, no, I put a picture of myself in a tuxedo getting down on one knee as if I was proposing to whoever clicked on the picture. That's kind of funny. Okay, except for, are you engaged? No, I am not engaged at this time. That was the part that caught her attention. She reached out to me and she asked me, like, why was I in a tux and who am I proposing to? So I said very cleverly, to you. Oh! So you're not a cheater. It's just a gimmick to get more swipes on Tinder. I like him now. She thought that was very funny. Yeah. So then I came up with a great idea for a date for her and I. I was like, listen, what if I took you to a restaurant where I propose to you? Because, of course, it's going to A, be a fake proposal. But if we do it in the middle of the dinner, it'll not only be kind of funny, but, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll get some free stuff from the restaurant. Like, <laughs> this guy's so, well, so your first date idea was to propose to her? <laughs> fake propose. Fake propose. She was well aware that it was a fake proposal. Dude, okay. Ian, it's a cute story. Like, our first date, we actually kind of got engaged. It doesn't leave much room for growth, though. Like, on the first date you <laughs> propose, what do you joke. do for date number two? I love it. Well, and hopefully you're not a man that would actually propose in a restaurant because, come on, guys. Oh, Get more on. original. Wow. Hey, wow, I'm just Brooke. saying. Yeah, it's all our listeners who've proposed in restaurants well, before. Brooke hates you. <laughs> I don't hate you, but you could have gotten a little right. more creative. Doesn't take it back. <laughs> well, okay, Brooke, where did you get proposed to? What magical place was it for yeah. you? In the the woods. Oh, mm. and okay. then we got lost for forty-five minutes because my husband was so nervous he didn't really keep track of where we were walking See, to. You can't get lost in a restaurant. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, there's signs all over the place in a restaurant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know where the exit is. So wait, so she was down for this? She was up for it? She was down for it. We did it. We went to the restaurant. I got down on my knee and gave like a little speech. Everyone started clapping, and they were like big applause. I mean, it was absolutely hilarious. That's amazing. I even got like a fake diamond ring to really sell it. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> it's like taking your like fake birthday to a whole nother level, yeah. right? And the plan worked because the restaurant gave us a free dessert and a free bottle of champagne, so it was totally worth it. Hey. She completely oversold it with like fake tears and clapping and all that <laughs> stuff. Like, it was just great. This is amazing. That's really funny. Romantic? I mean, it's uh, fun, right? I mean, they were both yeah. involved, so it's not like... Yeah. I mean, she's not, not calling me back because she actually thought it was real or something, right? <laughs> so here's where we hit the snag. Uh-oh. So afterwards, you know, we're leaving the restaurant, and I was walking her to her car, and, you know, we were joking about, like, the hypothetical wedding, and I said, huh, what should we do next? How should our moms get involved? And, like, yeah. she laughed, but then... Afterwards, like, we were saying goodnight, and she gave me a hug, which was weird because we had just kissed in the restaurant for, like, the fake proposal. Oh, that is So I was just trying to assess the situation. I was like, okay, well, do you want to see each other again next week, or do you want to do another fake engagement proposal thing? And Mm -hmm. she's like, you know, let me, uh," she said she'll let me know. I mean, you have your fake wedding party coming up. Like, what's going on? Right, right. (laughs) So anyway, so she said she'd let me know, and then... 
since then, communication has been very limited. Like, well, I mean, you already proposed to her. Like, she needs to make the next move, if you ask me. <laughs> like, you're putting in all the work here, dude. I mean, you're probably right, but, you know, it's hard for me because, like, she seemed so down for the first, like, bit of this thing. And now when I just added this, like, stupid little like it's just such a dumb like i regret it so much it's like well god why why did i have to take the bit there i just want because i really did like this girl yeah you're right though like if that's it <sighs> that's the reason after all you guys just did i don't know i'm just trying to collect my emotions right now because i started off really hating you <laughs> and now i'm really rooting for you oh, so. hey, it's thanks. just like your real marriage brooke <laughs> you're gonna have to give me a second here to have any opinion all right well we're gonna play a song Come back, and we're going to call your future bride-to-be mm. right after this. All right, Matt? All right, thanks. All right, hold on. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today in this dingy, German-fested recording studio <laughs> to celebrate the joyous first date of Matt and Leslie. Aww. Matt took his Tinder match to a restaurant where he faked a marriage proposal. <laughs> In the hopes of getting some free stuff from the restaurant. Yeah, Matt. And possibly a free pass to second base. But uh, even though Leslie said yes to the staged proposal, she has not said yes to a second meetup. And that brings us to this moment. Matt, is it okay that I act as your pastor today to try and bring you two together with your future wife? I would have it no other way. Can All I right. be a flower girl? I, I feel like more than ever, every man listening is rooting for this to work out for you, Matt, because they totally want to try this and get free food on their date, too. Dude, I said this like, off air. I was like, I really want to do this. Like, <laughs> but if it doesn't work out, then nobody should do it. Right? Yeah, they don't care about like meeting a great girl. It's no, just no. the free food. Yeah, it's just a cheaper way to date. Matt has unlocked the key. Well, listen, as much as I, I'm happy that I possibly have created a new life hack for many of the fellows out there. You know, I mean, n none of this will be worth it if she doesn't want to go out on another date. All right, Matt, that is so romantic. I'll let you get to second base, okay? Oh, dang! <laughs> okay, I, I'll, I listen, if I could just get in the ballpark, I'll be happy about that. All right. Oh, you can get in the well, ballpark. let's open the gates for you. We're going to give Leslie a call and try and get you a second date here, all right? Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to dial the number right now. Here we go. Oh, I hope this works. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Leslie, please? Yeah, this is Leslie. Hi, Leslie. How are you? This is young Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Okay. I just, I wanted to let you know I'm making this call in a tuxedo right now. I'm down on one knee, and I want to ask you if you'd make me the happiest man in the world and do me the honor of saying yes to being in a second date. <laughs> um... What? Don't say no, Leslie. You can't say no. You're she, a yes girl. She doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. That's a yes? Yeah, it's no. a yes. Oh, she said yes. She Yay, said yes. Congratulations. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, Leslie, you just made me so happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're as amused at us as we are of ourselves. Maybe I'll just let you know what's going on. We're calling on behalf of one of our friends named Matt. He told us that he recently went on a date with you. Okay, yeah. Is this making a little bit more sense now? Yes. All right. Ah, good. Yeah. Oh, my God. And he told us a story about the fake proposal, and he is the cutest thing ever. And smart. Wow, yeah. It was probably the craziest date I've ever been on. It sounded pretty out there, but yeah. he's confused because he felt like it was a fun time, but ever since then, you've been ignoring him, and he doesn't know why. Okay, so that's why you guys are calling me. Yeah, yes! we're hoping to get some answers for him. I mean, you can understand why he's, like, not getting it. I mean, you agreed to a fake marriage proposal at a restaurant. You seem pretty, I don't know, down. Yeah, it was crazy, and um, it was definitely entertaining. Like, it was funny. I've never done anything like that before. Oh, my God. What were you thinking when he was down on one knee in the restaurant? I mean, I was just kind of going with it. Like, I thought it was pretty funny and, like, it was just really creative, you know? I've, yeah. like, dated a lot of guys off Tinder and, like, no one's ever been that creative. You've never had a guy fake propose to you on a first date before? Gosh. <laughs> I know. The dating pool is so lame these days. <laughs> so what's the deal? Why aren't you talking to Matt now? You know, I don't know. Like, the everything was, like, really funny. But then... 
it was just like a red flag. And like, I didn't really want to say anything to him. I don't even know if it's like the type of thing that you say, to be honest. Did it freak you out? Like he was being more serious than you expected him to be or something? Is that what you're saying? No, like I knew it was a fake proposal. You know, I was like going along with it too. Like it was funny, but it was, he like when he pulled the ring out, it was like in this little box and it was just like so freaking sad and pathetic like this ring and i know it's what? like people around saw it too and we're like oh god he got her that ring what? and it was just wait like, wait wait it's fake. <laughs> it was a fake ring though for your fake wedding proposal yeah who cares okay but like other people saw it and like you guys weren't there like it was just embarrassing and and the thing is too is like oh. what he kept going on and on about how good it looked and can you believe this is fake? And it was just like a huge turn off. Wait, the fake ring for your fake marriage proposal was too small. And that was what you, turned you off. No, but it embarrassed her in front of everybody. Thank I, you. Oh, how, how does what? that embarrass yeah, you? It's a fake ring. I this know, is but, all a setup. But they don't know that. But even know. if it was a real ring, who cares the size of the ring? Like, I mean, but... now I'm starting to judge you over a fake marriage proposal. <laughs> you know, it was like a combination of the ring and like how he was trying to sell it to me like i feel like if he ever really got engaged that he might even try to like pull off a fake ring thinking he can get away with that and i'm just not cool with that it just seemed really tacky and like <laughs> not classy at all not classy. Oh, yeah, it yeah. seemed tacky and classy when you agreed to try to get free dessert out of a fake proposal <laughs> Well, you know who I'm sure didn't think it was tacky? Oh, my gosh. I bet Matt thought it was pretty damn classy, don't you, Matt? What? Wait, he's on the phone? Yeah, he's been listening on the other line this entire time, Matt. (laughs) She wasn't impressed. Uh, Hey, Leslie. Hi. Um, (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were on the phone. That probably was not easy to hear. I just... I'm just, you know, I'm kind of confused. Like, you're not calling me back because of the fake ring? Like, is that really the issue? (laughs) Matt, it was, like, really pathetic looking. It was just embarrassing. And, And no, but the thing is, is that you thought it was good. Like, you mentioned, like, over four times, like... Wasn't this awesome? Like, then the ring looks so good. The ring, the ring. And I honestly didn't want to see that ring ever again. No one's going to see that ring ever again because it was a fake ring that no one is going to actually propose with. Was that the people a- in the restaurant and the servers and the management? Like, they all saw it. And I could see in their faces, they were like, oh, my God. No wonder they gave you free food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It was pity food. It wasn't celebration food. Is that what you're saying, Leslie? Yes, that's what it felt like. It wasn't a celebrate. It was like, oh, this poor girl. Like, look what she is. I'm sorry that the sorry that the bus boys judged you and that upset you. (laughs) But listen, I I I stand my ground. That was a nice ring. Any girl would be lucky to have a ring. No, they would not, Matt. No, they wouldn't. And if you do another fake engagement again, don't think that that ring is going to be good enough. Oh, wow. Are we really fighting over this? How about this? When I do another fake engagement, I'm not only going to reuse that ring, but I'm going to get a sister ring that looks just like it for the wedding. Oh, oh my God. That's not going to be my wedding. Well, I don't know if you're going to have a wedding, Leslie, because apparently these rings aren't good enough for you. Oh, my God. Don't go through a fake separation. This is not okay. We're getting fake divorced. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't want your stupid ring, Matt. You know what? The engagement's off. What? You know what? I'm keeping the ring, and if you have a dog, I'm taking the dog. None of this is real. What What is going on, you guys? (laughs) How did this happen? It was supposed to be fun. It was supposed to be silly. No, he plays like he's really nice. You know, that was another flag I didn't tell you guys about. When he was doing his whole speech about, oh, you've always been there for me, the wedding to Mexico, and we met at the bakery, and on and on. It was too good. I was like, this guy is a freaking liar, and I can't trust him. Yeah, it was so crazy that I was so crazy that I I was making things up for a fake proposal. (laughs) Oh Oh my god, God. this is so weird. I don't know if I'm heartbroken or where I'm at now. I mean, I'm kind of turned on, and I think that Matt, you should take this girl out on one more date. I mean, I can't wait to take her to a Burger King and propose with an onion ring. (laughs) Oh my god! Yeah, you probably. 
probably would go to Burger King and you'd probably use a freaking onion ring as the ring and be like, oh my God, look how it glimmers under the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, you cheapo. Yeah, that's my kind of ring. So is that a yes to a second date? I'm not reading this right. <laughs> Because we will pay for a second date if you guys will go out again. A real date. Come on. I almost want you guys to do it. You're so good at fighting. You know what? She doesn't even need to give you an answer. Because let me tell you something, honestly, that's not fake. No, I don't want to go out with her again. Oh. Fine, Matt. I don't want to go out with you either in your pathetic little ring. Good luck finding somebody that will put up with that. Jeez. And whoever does definitely won't have sex with you, okay? I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> I don't care. I'll be celibate for my whole life as long as I don't have to hear you complain about a ring. Oh, man. Right. Not- okay, oh, well. Wow, that went quick. Matt, I mean- <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It sounds like your bride-to-be is not interested in seeing you again. So, oh my God, no my- second date. I should have seen the red flags when she said yes to my proposal. So, that one's on me. <laughs> Yeah, she says yes to a marriage proposal. Huge red flag. Right. She's the weird one. Yeah. I, thought, 